Hi, Omega Kills here with a special uh, video. This is my ideal uh, ban list. So, first, this is disclaimer it's uh, not a ban list prediction. So, it, it's a list, uh, ban list of what I think should happen. Some of these uh, might happen in the actual ban list, but the most of them are uh, not really. Of course, we haven't seen the official ban list yet. At least, uh, at least when I'm recording this video, it's probably going to uh, like be released sometime in the end of January or beginning of uh, February. So we'll see. But first, let's go over my ideal balanced. So first, the unlimited cards, and the first of them will be Dark Hole. It's not really used uh, much anymore, at least in main decks, and it's related to a banning of a certain card. Um, uh, you might, of course, uh, know what it is. So, uh, not much to say, pretty simple. Then, Dragon Ravine, because it, uh, it has been at 2 for ages and hasn't gone up. Um, Dragon 80 is not really that great uh, anymore. And, of course, Dragon Rewards have been banned for a while and it's not really abused in any other dragon based decks anymore as well. Like Blue Eyes don't really use it, but some Felgrand decks do use it, but yeah. Well, it's, I think it's really Bans card now, so yeah. Then the Pre uh, Dragon, it's nowadays outclassed by many other cards. Of course, this card was abused in Dragon Wars, but of course, again, they have been banned for a while and it's, it's not really used in anything. Relevant. So about time this uh, came back to uh, free. Uh, Res Gravit, probably one of the more controversial cards on this list that have been uh, unlimited. So it's great for many low tier decks that use uh, different normal monsters. It requires massive de 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 dedication because you have to run like uh, normal monsters in a deck, and most of them are not. Uh, that great. Uh, that a bit, of course, will be too slow nowadays anyway. Uh, but again, only like downside will be like it would help Metal Force too much, maybe. But I'm not really that sure about that. So, yeah. I think it's pretty safe to for it to come to free. Then now I'm going to some limited cards, but it's only one card I have in here. This standalone, it would help many synchro based decks. It's not really used in anything relevant, it helps plant based decks as well. So, I think it's pretty balanced, at least for today's game. It's just some sort of two tokens, and you, you even can't use it, use them for tribute summoning for that turn. So, why not? But uh, I still limit it instead of unlimiting it because uh, just in case, uh, but it could be at free as well. No problem. Then limited cards. First, a uh, swarm strike, of course. Yeah, too generic, very low cost. It's uh, a lot more powerful than many other uh, trap cards in the limited list. For example, Ring of Destruction, Copper's uh, Evocation Device, Bottom Trap Hole. Like swarm strike is uh, better than all of those. So it's definitely like, and it's of course too versatile as well. Like seriously, it should be limited immediately. Uh, and in many ways, it's even better than Swan of Warning. Um, it's of course, it can negate any hand plasma and also any monster effect. So yeah, too much. Then Twin Twister, another one of the more cont controversial hits. I want this my ideal ban list. Um, main reasons, it doesn't really prevent the back row or extension, it more like encourages it, it screws over slower decks that like can't rely on uh, back row, and it's abused in several decks, it has been abused in the PK fire deck, um, and some other decks like uh, ABC, and it uh, outclasses most other back row removal cards like uh, Mystical Space Stuff or uh, Cosmic Cyclone and many other cards. So. I think it should be limited just for that reason. And this card cost, it's not really that um, high of a cost anyway. 
Uh, if you wanted to prevent back row of extension, uh, just bring heavy stone back, maybe. But even that, maybe it's just too too good nowadays because of all, of all that all the key tech. So uh, yeah. Then uh, card of uh, demise. Uh, it's plus two for no reason in uh, most cases in the text that uh, card optimize is used in it encourages degenerate charges like yeah like Clifford stun or like uh, your sensual stun or like uh, text that use a lot lot of uh, floodgates and just uh, yeah completely relying on your back row cards to shut down your plant so I guess that this kind of uh, this hit and uh, twin twister it kind of uh, contradict each other but I think um, I do prefer like it's a balance of both I guess a balance of like back row and uh, back row removal and like how many back rows yeah you have I guess so yeah it's just too good it gives you way too much of, of an advantage it does have a pretty heavy restrictions but if you get uh, three cards with one I don't think it really matters that much so yeah Union Hangar, pretty obvious set for ABC, or way too powerful in the attack because if you, you get a search when you activate it, and then you can like uh, get another like Union from attack if you, uh, yeah, summon a Union monster to the field. So yeah, just way too good, I would say. And it's very easily searchable if uh, they are falling, of course, and when it program comes in the deck with this card. If you have it this card, you basically can make ABC Dragon Buster first turn, no question about that. Then, Altante, Travel of the Burning Abyss, has been on hit for ages. Like, I have no idea how this card has survived so long. It, it's abused in a countless decks and engines. Like, the Phantom Knights use it. And of course, just as that's why uh, PK Fire Attack exists. It's abused in some other decks as well. And of course, in Burning Wiz, of course, it was pretty much the key card. Like just uh, spamming this card constantly. And of course, it's a really good floater as well. Like, yeah, just crazy. Then Psyfrem Lord Omega. Um, it's used in DHNH Synchro Hand Loop decks, just like. You summon out three omegas and then just, yeah, like, uh, and then some trishful as well to, like, to get rid of your opponent's hand, like, first turn. It's also too good in, like, zombie commodities, like, with Uni Zombie and Mesukis, like, it can recycle Mesukis, like, uh, from the Paris Zone and all that. It's very generic, it can be used in pretty much in any uh, deck that uses use Synchro, so, yeah, just too good to stay at multiples. Then Metal Force Mephilium. Yeah, it was kind of hard, like what card I want to hit in Metal Force. But I think this is probably the prime uh, candidate. It recycles your resources, like your uh, your spells and uh, traps, Metal Force spells and traps. It has a floating ability, it's very easy to summon in a deck. Yeah, and it's, again, it's one of the only cards I can really think of that uh, would actually hurt the deck uh, significantly. Otherwise, I would have to hit like every like metal full card in general because they pretty much have the same effect most of mostly at least then Moxie it really isn't used for its in internet purpose like, anymore mostly just like you summon out your field first turn and then you have Moxie in your hands your plant I uh, can't really uh, counter your field without giving you a lot of advantage so it's way too good nowadays and it's almost a staple as well so it was semi limited in the previous panelist so I think it should get limited despite it having some uh, good uh, purposes as well then speed or terror top of course really sad uh, for me to for this card to get hit but unfortunately it's necessary despite yeah, this card Getting hit like uh, hurting speed is quite a lot, which is a very, I guess, low tier deck, and it, this, yeah, it kind of needs this card. But I guess they would have to like make another searcher that has a wind restriction. Wind restriction. If this card has had a wind restriction, I think it would be fine. 
And I guess this is one of the only speedrun cast attacks. So it doesn't have the wind destruction, so it's kind of funny actually. That if you don't put the wind destruction on speedruns, I guess they become broken. So it's abusing countless attacks like PKFR, Burning Abyss, uh, uh, of course, Zodiac, some of the Invoker, and then, of course, Mulmarat. Uh, just too crazy for, yeah, and of course, one card rank 3 without normal summoning, and one card up to level 7, level seven Synchro as well with uh, uh, Red Eye Dice. So it's just too good, too much uh, can be used yeah, in many decks. So that's why it has to get limited. Then Zodiac Mulrat, of course, uh, this card is not out in series yet, but it will come out very soon. And of course, Zodiac will be a kind of a TR zero type deck, and uh, it's mostly because of this card, Zodiac uh, Mulrat or Marunat. Not sure how it's actually will be called in series. So it's super broken in the deck because, of course, um, Zodiacs work in the way that. You can exist one with only one card, one card essentially, and that's already a, a huge design mistake. I will say you shouldn't uh, be able to like exist one with only one card, and yeah. So, and of course, then it can just summon a more copies of itself as well. So, it's used as a broken engine in other decks. So, as well, it's yeah, like it can be used in almost anything. And it's really the only real problem in Zodiac because I don't really see any other uh, broken cards in, in the deck aside from maybe uh, Trantia, but I think this is a better hit, I would say. I okay, guess so you can first semi limit it as well, but I, I think it still will be uh, too good. Now let's look at the four winning cards. First, the uh, Dispel Fragrance. It's, uh, uh, shuts down pendulum based decks completely, they can't even play anything and those are slow stun spell based decks as well, way too much so it has become kind of a degenerate floodgate like so it, I think it has to get banned for sure uh, when it's emptiness, yeah, it's about time this card gets banned, it's really broken, very sucky at once, so if you have that card it's very likely you're going to win, and of course wins two aisles completely on its own. When you flip this card, it's very hard for your opponent to come back essentially without yeah, having an out. So yeah, I think it's pretty obvious, I would say. And both of the sires, of course there have, there have been many jokes about this card, like minus nine and stuff like that, but of course it's a plus one for no reason. So it's way too generic as well, can be used in pretty much anything. If you don't play like any specific key cards that um, you really mind banishing, the cost is really not enough. When I first saw this card, I thought it was, I thought like the cost is too much for it to be played, but I was completely wrong. And it's almost a semi staple, I would say. Although I personally, I'm not sure if I would even use it if I could afford it. And so, and of course, it's a pot of greed 2.0. So. I think it really has to get banned for that reason. It doesn't have, it doesn't bring anything good for the game. I would, I would say. Then Raikeki, of course, that's why I brought Dark Hole to free. It's too good to stay legal because it's almost one-sided removal. It has no cost or downside, and it's very sacky as well. So I think it has to get banned. Yeah, of course, the structure is not that good nowadays, but it's still, I think, too good. And Soul Charge, of course, way too powerful, and of course, really sacky at one as well. It's used in, has been used in many decks like Synchrons and stuff like that. It, it can be used in ABC uh, and all that, and, I've, and I think it will be used in Zodiacs as well. So I think it should get banned, but yeah, not sure exactly. Uh, then, of course, Elder Anti Northern, of course, really broken, abused in countless decks. Of course, totally broken because, yeah, it's a totally awesome card. It's have used in that deck as well. Then, of course, Zoidax will come out very soon as well. And, of course, uh, uh, in that deck, this card will be really broken because OCG never had a uh, northern legal with uh, Zodiax. Then, totally awesome or totally broken as, as I would uh, call it. It's abused in several decks like Paleozoics, uh, uh, like that uh, 
a dark low hero like someone you got Palmer Shark and all that stuff. It's the gates and also gives you that uh, card as well to the field. So it's indication plus advantage and it's also float so you uh, even can by um, put itself back to the extra deck. So pretty much limiting it would be kind of pointless. It would be just you can't summon multiples. But I think it has to get banned, like, no question about that. Some would say, uh, like, ban the Bahamut Shark instead, but the thing is, Bahamut Shark was never a, really a problem before this card, so... Uh, and, of course, it's way too easy to summon, either with Bahamut Shark or with uh, uh, just, yeah, with its uh, summoning uh, requirement. And then the last uh, 4 man card, Mash by Unicorn Kiri. I think it's pretty obvious it got banned in the OCG ban list. And should get banned here as well. Really broken because, like, I play this in either press turn, yeah, and also can be destroyed with or targeted by card effects, so it's immune to pretty much everything. And of course, you can penalize my back every turn as well, so yeah, it definitely has to get banned. And of course, it, it, it's easily searchable and it has been abused in countless uh, pendulum based decks. Then some other potential other hits that I wasn't really sure of, like I wasn't sure about uh, how I should hit uh, this or if at all, and same with blue eyes. So some potential hits are to this are uh, Swirl Slime to two and Lamia to two, like Ocean she did. Um, and it will get, uh, it will be really significant hit because these are like the main combo cards in the deck. So it will hurt that, that consistency a little bit. Um, but I'm not completely sure if this really is a huge problem. I would have to see if this list, list, list became a rea reality. And with blue eyes, would we'll either hit blue as alternative white dragon or red room dragon lords. And uh, with dragon lords, I kind of don't want to hit because it would hurt other generic, generic dragon decks as well. And also, I don't want to, want to hit blue as alternative for, I guess, lower reasons. So it will be kind of hard to decide for me. And blue eyes, it has done pretty well, but it's not really uh, like uh, the best deck or anything like that. It's just pretty good. So I think this is it for this uh, ideal uh, panelist video. Yeah, I haven't done this uh, for a while. The last time I did this kind of video, I got like eight dislikes. So. So I can remember it's just my uh, viewpoints on the game and like my what I would want to get hit. But if you disagree, that's completely fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video for now. A uh, goodbye and Omeakios out.